I remember one more thing from Spike Wigglesworth. He, um, he said this quote, uh, there are a thousand parts of my heart that need to be softened a thousand times a day. Man, this is a quality of person. It's very interesting. Did you meet Josh? Yeah. Okay. Hallelujah. Let's go. What's going on, bro? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey, you're awesome, bro. You're awesome, bro. How are you sleeping today? Yeah. How, how did I sleep? I slept really good. A prophet? What's that? Good sleeping? Very good sleep, and you are very strong. I can feel you're your strong. muscles. Wait, wait, wait. You're your muscles. <laughs> This is insane. You should look at this. No. I've never seen a church bathroom look like this. Look at the walls behind the urinals. We're coming here, look at this. I think the women had it, have it even better. I haven't seen the ones, but this mirror is crazy. I've never seen a church bathroom like this before. You, gotta look you guys are excellent. <laughs> Come on. They take excellence seriously. Even down to the urinals, the walls behind the urinals. Just everything perfect for the king. That's how they see it. I'm inspired by it. Challenged by it, actually. You want it so good! Yeah, so good! You are amazing. You are amazing. You're amazing. Tell me about Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Why? Jesus, my friend, my father, my... Um, Every day. You're amazing, bro. You're so good. <laughs> so, this guy is so strong. <laughs> you're very strong. You know, you're strong. <laughs> the first pastor of Calvary Assembly Winter Park, Florida. He's uh, uh, he was friends with Youngie Cho, and he was Smith Wigglesworth's piano player. And I remember asking him at dinner, "Do you think we'll see the likes of Smith Wigglesworth again?" He says, "No." And I said, well, can I ask you why not? And he said exactly what you said. The amount of time that it would take to fashion a man like that is not possible with the kind of world we're in today. By the time you eat three, you get tired and give up. <laughs> look, look at him. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see if I can pull up a... Oh, there you go. Here, let me get a little bowl. Hey, these are the tiniest grapes in the world. Emmanuel, what was the Lord saying to us this morning in prayer? Wow, there was so much. I loved what Josh said about the gold, and he was trying to push that away. He saw, he saw like gold foil, and he tried to push that away, thinking that it's his flesh. But the Lord was revealing that the things that he has for us is, is so rich, and it's so valuable. And then we talked about the fact that the Lord walks with us in our journey and that when he walks with us, our, our, there's a fire in our heart. But then he desires to sit down with us at the table because yeah. at the table, that's where revelation and transformation happens. And then Evelyn talked about the fact that he so desires to be in commun commune, to commune with us, to fellowship with us. And uh, uh, not for us, not just to be busy with stuff, trying to be busy as Martha was, but just to sit in his presence and be in awe of him, who he is. So it was a beautiful moment. Praise God. Is that what you remember? That's what I remember. <laughs> I remember I'm going to cry and... <laughs> So hot in this podcast room, sweating through my jeans. Bro, he did such a good job, didn't he? He did a fantastic job. Lighting, sound, one take Jake. One take Jake. What was uh, your favorite uh, part of that podcast? Probably when she said, what's the best advice anybody's ever given to you? Yeah. That, that was like a question no one's really asked me before. It kind of was emotional for me because I thought of my dad, I thought of Linda Ravenhill or like people that have influenced my life and then also I thought of friends, you know, things that they've said and I try to pull something from each one of them. It's good. Has it been a good weekend so far? Man, it's been amazing. The presence of the Lord has been rich. The uh, revelation that we've had concerning Jesus being gold, the greatest treasure. It's been, it's been awesome. Good people. I'm gonna preach this morning on clinging to God out of, uh, out of uh, uh, 
Isaiah, where Hezekiah, <laughs> Hezekiah lays out before the Lord the threats of Sennacherib. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, there is a scripture that really opens our eyes. It says, so that your trust will be in the Lord, I've taught you today. Там говорится, что а, пусть ваше доверие будет Богу, как я вас учил сегодня. So did you hear that teaching? Учение is to bring us to a point of trust. And I apologize if I get a little uh, giddy or excited. Может быть, я буду слишком рад этому, поэтому извините меня заранее. But this message makes me so happy. Но это послание делает меня настолько счастливым. I I feel it on the inside. Я внутри себя. As I read this, it makes me say. И когда я это читаю, я прям очень рад. And that's what it feels like to trust in God. И вот именно так ты себя чувствуешь, когда доверяешься Богу. He's worshiping God. Он поклоняется Богу в этот момент. In the face of the letter. Перед этим письмом угроз. This is how we cling to God. Вот таким образом мы держимся за Бога. Not not pretending things are not happening. Не притворяясь, что ничего плохого не происходит. Take the things being said. Но берем все то, что было сказано. Take what's being done to you. Берем то, что было сделано с нами. Take the threats and the lies. Берем эту ложь и угрозы. Take the fear and the anxiety. Весь страх и тревожность. And lay it down in the presence of the Lord. И складывай в присутствии Божьем. And begin to worship the Lord. И начинаем. I will give you all my I will give you all my praise. You alone I long to worship. You alone are worthy of my praise. We wrapped up today. Oh yeah. And we're heading to the airport. How was it? Everybody's flying out today. <laughs> Hopefully I, can get, hopefully I can get out today. But yeah, it was a wonderful trip, man. Full of fellowship and riches of the presence of the Lord together. Great. Forget something? No, you're... A carpet? Yeah.